Hey everyone, it's Jim and Charles from Valves and More, an online vintage tube store. And today in Tube Lab number 166, we're going to talk a little bit about the year that's just gone past, the year ahead, and give you our season's greetings. <laughs> <laughs> but first, caution everyone, electronics and tube amplifiers can have very high voltages present, which can be lethal. Exercise extreme caution when working around them. Always consult a professional technician when in doubt. Well, it was a very busy year. Somehow, we managed to maintain a good inventory of quality vintage tubes, even with the high demand we're continuing to see. And over at Melatone Kits, our business more than doubled, and it looks like it will double again in the coming year, at which point we'll need to expand again. A big thank you to all of our test builders and all of our, our kit builders. You guys are fantastic. Uh, you're helping our business grow and you're helping people listen to great sound. Well, we were going to talk about that out in the music room. <laughs> Maybe we will again. And talking about um, tube amps, Charles has come up with a prototype platform that will allow us to test and listen to some of the earliest triodes that were commonly in use. And if we like what we hear, eventually we'll design a new universal preamp for the early types. That's a long way away, but something fun to look forward to. And Charles has dug up a couple of examples of these very early single triodes. Yeah, yeah. So I've talked about them briefly before on camera. So these are essentially the grandfather of the 6SN7 tube, or maybe the great grandfather of something like the 12AU7 tube. And they're absolutely beautiful. These are just general purpose single triodes. This is the number 56. And actually, let me show you the box here first. Look at this very plain, but great old tongue saw radio tube box. Practically nothing on it, very bare bones. And there's 56. So the 56 and the 76, which is this guy right here. Let me get that on camera. There we go. Are single triodes. They're general purpose. They're medium mu. So essentially, they're almost like one half of a 6SN7 in terms of their purpose and use. And there were so many different versions of these tubes made back in the day by all these different manufacturers uh, because they were being used in everything. So there's a huge variety of them available and I'm really looking forward to being able to roll some different ones in a preamp. Yeah, I mean they basically filled the role of a medium U voltage gain. Yeah, amplifier, detector, oscillator, you'll see that on all the data sheets. This is a general purpose tube and uh, we, we've said this before, we love the sound of the old tubes. The older they are generally the better they sound and I can't wait to hear these guys. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a, a bit of uh, an instruction for us because even though we've been collecting uh, for years now, we've been building inventory on these tubes, and we've been finding a lot of them, new old stock, new in the box. Now we find, you know, five here, ten here, mm -hmm. and we just, we've been building up our inventory towards a year in which we have time to actually uh, start doing development work on a on a universal preamp one that can play all of those tubes <laughs> yeah and actually there's an even older version of these called the number 27 that should also be compatible though we don't have an example here to show and they're not there they are i mean the 56 came out in 1932 the 76 in 1933 and i think the 27 in the late 20s and they're not as commonly available and really when it comes to these very early triodes even though it's fine if you can find a good use tube really at, at, at the at the age of these tubes finding the new old stock in the box that's that's the gold standard as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and just look at this tube I mean this is probably close to 90 years old at this point and look at the gettering the quality of work that went into this to hold a good vacuum. Yeah, these tubes may have had some machine assist on the assembly line, um, you know, for things like forming and rolling the plate stock and things like that. But the vast majority of these early triodes were all hand assembled. So anyway, so that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, our priority this year is to get the new kit headphone 
amp out to the test builders. And then, of course, once it passes through the test builders, everyone else. And Charles, you've got the yeah. top the top plate is basically complete. So anybody that's subscribed to our other channel, the Melatone Kits channel, would have seen me putting this together and having a little bit of fun the other day. Let's back out a little bit so you can see the whole thing in here. high def <laughs> glory. <laughs> here is the, the second, or I guess technically the third prototype of the headphone amps top plate. And we've and made a few changes with how we've done things. We've got these beautiful inset epoxy labels. Uh, we're using a new protective top coat and, and frankly, I, I think it's looking fantastic and I can't wait to have this together and show it off to you guys. Yeah, your implementation is really terrific, Charles. And some of the things we learned designing this kit will we'll slowly filter down into the rest of the kits. Yeah, exactly. And future kits, of course. <laughs> well, let's head over into the music room and give everybody our, our best greetings for the season ahead. Well, welcome to our music room, also known as Santa's workshop. And in fact, behind me is uh, the family dining room, uh, which also doubles as a packing room. So anyways, um, we, um, as always, are very grateful to all of you, to our customers, our great customers, to our test builders who um, have helped improve the kits over the years immeasurably to the kit builders for your trust in um, in choosing to go with us whenever there's other options out there yeah I mean we're the simplest um, mm, least sexy chassis <laughs> <laughs> uh, best sounding kits uh, available and um, um, you know that's sort of our philosophy and um, and uh, everyone is slowly catching on that you don't need to you don't need to have a huge uh, complicated chassis with uh, lots and lots of tubes that cost a fortune to have great sound in fact yeah. that's probably working against you anyways that's <laughs> that's a conversation topic for some other videos I think yeah <laughs> we wish everybody uh, a very restful joyful holiday season and the best the very best for the new year cheers everyone yeah cheers everyone <laughs>